Hi and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you Pamela Steele's Eternal Seeker Oracle. This was recently sent to me by Red Feather or Shiffa Publishing and it arrives as you can see in a beautiful box all in pale blue. It's really very pretty and on the back it has some information. But the first thing that I noticed when I looked at this packaging was this owl as it reminded me of the owl from the Labyrinth film and I love that film so I knew straight away that this deck would be one that I'd enjoy. It says now you can once and for all lay to rest old hurts, confusion and emotional ties that no longer serve who you are at this time. It says gather the parts of yourself and your soul that have been devastated, wounded and forgotten and move forward into your eternal life. These 33 elegant Rider Waite inspired art cards and a comprehensive guidebook will start you on your path to enlightenment. By collecting all the missing pieces and healing those fragments of the self, you can finally and fully become whole. From the colours to the smallest details, the symbols in this exciting deck speak on a soul deep level to help you intuit and identify the underlying and often motivational meanings of your life. This provides you with a platform from which to launch the next stage for your personal journey. With strength and honour, may you seek and find joy and grace in your passage. So, as you can see, this is available for $24.99 in the US. It opens up with a magnetic click-close seal there. And the first thing you are presented with is this lovely kind of stardust circle. And you can see the guidebook. So I will remove the guidebook which is fairly chunky. The cards have just slipped down because I have taken the plastic seal off them. But there is a cardboard template for the cards, as you can see. So this is a, a lovely box to store your cards in. The cards themselves are a beautiful, shimmery, shiny blue with these lovely, like, shell-like spirals. And again, that circular star, that cosmic look. There's no edging on them, but they're lovely and glossy. And the card stock is really nice and thick. They are quite large-ish cards. I wouldn't say overly large, but they're, they're nice and easy to shuffle. So we'll just have a little look now at the guidebook. The guidebook itself is in total 128 pages long. And I will show you the contents to give you an idea of what's in there. So you can tell you, uh, tell, I can share with you that it tells you about the seeker, Magus, the Oracle, Divine Feminine, the Crone, Elder Gods, Tradition, and it goes through each of the cards you see here, all of them. But before that, you've got a little forward. It tells you about what is an Oracle, the care and feeding of your Oracle deck, keeping a journal, composing questions, shuffling and dealing the cards and some spreads. So, yeah, and then you get um, some information from the Oracle's creator and some acknowledgements, resources, references and quotes. So you can see here we've got a forward. And then it tells you about reader's ethics. And it's a really lovely guidebook. It is colour printed. And I'll just flick through. So there's the spreads. And then you can see the pages themselves. It gives you a clear idea about the card. And it gives you the image of the card as well for each one. So we'll flick through all the cards quickly because you'll see them shortly. There's 33 cards in total. And then at the end we have some information about the spirals that I mentioned. Um, a note from the Oracle's creator, Pamela Steele. The acknowledgements, the references and resources. So it's a really lovely guidebook. It's nice and detailed and I love that it, it echoes the uh, design from the actual packaging. So let's have a look at the cards. I've kept them in order because I haven't used them yet. I've only opened the box and then I thought I'd share this. So we have all the cards are numbered. You can see by this spiral. So this is number one and this is the Seeker. How pretty is that? This deck somehow sort of reminds me of the Everyday Witch in its style. I think the cards are beautiful though. Then we have the Magus. A powerful magician there. The Oracle. How pretty is she? I love that dress. I wish I could pull off something like that. We have number four, Divine Feminine. And as I said before, as I was reading the back, it does um, state that these are Rider Waite inspired cards. So here I obviously see the Empress. The Crone. <laughs> so pretty. 
then we've got elder gods and i almost associate this one with like the emperor i'd have to read more into it as the cards are linked but the tradition i would go with the hierophant obviously so the cards link over and they'd go really nicely with the tarot deck and we've got choices here and sacred alignment and can you see they just almost look like the chariot there doesn't it with the horses running soul fire i love her scarf it's so cute and the bears then we have a spirit guide who as you can tell straight away we've basically got the image of the hermit here haven't we the spirit guide the wheel of time which would be your wheel of fortune it is like looking through um the tarot cards major arcana the law yeah perception so like the hanged man if you were what how you're looking at things how you perceive things i love this beautiful dragon the traveler harmony like temperance if you will oh i dropped one going back the attachments i love the colors i love the feel of them they're really nice and glossy chaos obviously this would be like the tower and we've got that lightning bolt there and we've got hope which would be like your star with the owl and the eggs is it an owl i think so inspiration intuition heart song which would be like the sun wouldn't it it's just beautiful rebirth which I suppose you'd say is a bit like death. And then we have attainment. I love this. I love how the face has got almost like the earth as a nose. And it's just beautiful. The weaver. The universe, which obviously is in the tarot deck. If you, well, the world or the universe, depending which decks you have. Truth. And that's a very Snow White kind of image, isn't it? Shadows. And I love that she's hugging the dragon who's all dark. The Guardian. Wisdom. Emergence. So pretty. Infinity. I love this. The simple design. I love it. It's so cosmic, the deck as well. Always the stars. And then we have I Am, which is a dragon's eye in flames in space it's just so cosmic and cool and cute so there we have it they are the eternal seeker oracle this is the ideal deck i feel to go alongside a tarot reading to just sort of confirm the messages that are coming through i love it so far i can't wait to use it i hope you've enjoyed watching this video and you've enjoyed the uh, information and let me know what you think of these cards let me know if this is something you'd like to get or you already have let me know what you think of it the guidebook is super duper it's very lengthy i'm gonna to have to sit and have a good read but there's plenty to it and it's a really nice price and it's beautifully made let me know your thoughts take care and thanks for watching